Guys, five minutes on the clock for this one. I might not need it, but I want to try and explain how a digital business works because you know what? No one ever taught me this. And this is probably the greatest lesson that you, you need to know because like, I found this out by just research, essentially, of every company. I, I break it down, how they work, and I'm gonna let you know now. So, so you sell something online. You might sell a product or a service. You might sell a T-shirt. Let's use, let's use um, any. You, you have a product or a service. How do you? A lot of people make this, right? This is this is the number one problem for startups. They make a product and then they make a website and they get really, really excited and they're like, yeah, I've got this Squarespace website or whatever they're trying to sell you now. And it's like, I've got this product. Uh, nobody's coming to my website. It's like, and a traditional method of this was you'll make a car and you'll make a TV commercial and everyone who watches a TV commercial at five o'clock on a Saturday night comes to buy the car the next day. That's that's how that's the whole point of advertising. But the world's changed and not 99% of people who start companies don't have the money to advertise. It's just, it's just the way it is. I know a lot of people like me who start small businesses don't know how to advertise, don't know how to advertise. Um, so how the world has changed in the last 10 years is social media. So social media like YouTube, like LinkedIn, like Facebook. Um, how you promote a product now is by making content. And that is, say you're making a t-shirt, what you need to first get is people interested in your brand. So you need, you need to start creating content that doesn't sell your t-shirt. That sounds counterintuitive, but it's it's just how things work now. So you, you start making, say you're making t-shirts on bands, you might do the top five punk bands, the top five rock bands. You basically get yourself in the genre that you wanna, uh, be in business in. So I'm in UX and UI. Uh, my product or service down the line might be a course or it might be a book. And what I'm doing is I'm making these YouTube videos, uh, first out of a passion to help people, but to grow my own personal brand. And then in the future, you can get people to then uh, down the funnel, which I'll talk about in a second. So that's just my own example. But every, every person who's online has this funnel and just nobody tells you about it. So this is my way of breaking it down. So you make content and then you, you can put that content on your own website, but then the problem is no one's gonna go to your own website to read the content, maybe nine or eight. So basically when you make an article online, it's called content marketing this. When you make an article, it takes nine months for Google to index that article. That's why we're not all bloggers because people make a blog for a month, nobody comes, then they leave. But if you check, the analytics nine months later, you'll start getting people because that's just how long these things take. It takes like three months to index a YouTube video. So make you make these articles, but the, you put them on your website, yeah, but you also go out to social media and these things in social media get organic traffic a lot, lot quicker than Google does just because of the way things work. So if you put the same article on Medium or on Facebook or on LinkedIn or on YouTube, you're gonna actually get people interested in your brand. They're gonna start to know about you. So they're gonna know about um, Vine t-shirts by the fact that they keep making these cool videos on bands or something. And then you've got, these are called leads. So customers or fans or whatever you wanna call them. They're just people who are interested in the content that you're creating. Then the goal of a funnel is to get these people to buy a product or service and become everlasting customers and to make them happy. You're not trying to scam anyone here. All you're trying to do is create a business for yourself by selling stuff that people want. And the first, you've got your net, so you know people are interested in it. Then there's a couple of ways to get them to reconsume your stuff. So you could use a really modern way, which is push notifications. So I know from my own website, 90% of people use Chrome and there's tools where you can put it on your website. So say you get people from YouTube and say every, once every 10 videos, you might put a link, don't spam them. You might put a link to your own website. You get people coming to your own website. This takes a lot of mash, you've got to do it. Um, even do it before you even make the product. It's the most important thing. But when you get people coming to your site or you get subscribers on YouTube, that's a push notification. You send this push notification out, gets them to re-engage with the content. So then you start making people re-engage with it. 
And then traditionally what people do is they uh, spam them with email. So they'll give something away for free. It's called a lead magnet. You'll give it away for free on your own website. So this T-shirt company might give a, a book called In, uh, The 20 Greatest Bands of the... Sorry, I need to go on. Five minutes is done. But The 20 Greatest Bands of the 80s. And you'll notice this. You'll go on the website and you'll put your email address in. You'll click submit. And you'll be like, you'll get to download the PDF and you'll be wondering why you've given the email. But the truth of the matter is it's a bribe. It's a bribe to get your email, to market you things later on down the line. And you know what? It's really not worth it anymore. It's not worth putting that barrier up. You might as well give the content because push notifications have a 10% click through rate, which means one in 10 is going to click. But email has got like three or four in 100. So the barrier to entry is not, I don't think it's worth it anymore. But the whole point is, you make people happy by, it's like when you go to a market and someone gives you a cookie and you taste it and you're like, oh, I'll buy the back of cookies from you. It's a, it's, it's a psychological element of repayment. Um, so you, you give away all your cookies, right? And in the hope that people are going to actually want to purchase the more quality content that you save for later on down the line so for me i'm giving away all my cookies and some of you might like it some of you might, might not that's fine but when i actually spend the time and make a quality product which i'm not trying to scam anyone about or you're not trying to you're not trying to do anything you're just trying to make something really good and then people will come to it because they're your fans already and they support you because you've given them so much value that they know what they're gonna get so you know what don't bother with all these lead magnets and stuff like that that's how you do it that's how you get people down the funnel but you get fans and then don't spam them but one in ten videos i might in the future make about a course that i'm doing and then people will will naturally do it or you can use remarketing techniques so you can go on facebook you can target people who are fans of your youtube channel you can send them a little advert out in the in the thing so it's not part of your content but it's a purpose advert and you know what the engagement rates that you get on that will be 10 million times higher than than you would if you were just cold calling them. So that's how you get people down the funnel. Then you get them into your product, which could be a course, it could be a subscription site, which you do, what it could be a shoe, whatever. But that's how you do it in 2020. You contact market to them, you get fans, you then push them to your product or service, and then if it's if it's good, they'll buy it and they like it, and that's how that's how these things work. So keep an eye out whenever you're ever on the internet and you see someone that asks for your name and you type it in and you get an email and then they spam you to death that's how digital businesses work until next time keep an eye out and keep designing